talk more about Nurses Strike. Um, I want to say about a week and a half ago, I, I, I did a video about Philly, uh, the nurses in Philly going on strike. And they were particularly going on strike because they were being treated like shit for being uh, frontline workers uh, during a pandemic. And we need nurses, right? We need doctors. We need healthcare people. Um, it's important. They're, they're, they're important during a pandemic. Uh, I feel like that shouldn't have to be said aloud, but I have to say it aloud. Uh, that's the world we live in, where some of the more obvious statements we kind of have to like <laughs> talk, talk about out loud. Oh, uh, as as Steve Poinkinen says, we live in a fucking cartoon. Uh, <laughs> but in Philly, the, the nurses went on strike. And I talked about how that's I, I mentioned that months ago that uh, I do think that there's going to be a major health care strike. Uh, and I think we're we're seeing the beginnings of it. Um, basically, what's happened now is is we just had 2000 plus nurses in upstate New York go on strike uh and they ended their strike because the new york state covid positive uh numbers are reaching over a hundred thousand um these are cases not deaths so so people are being uh tested as positive for covid over a hundred thousand uh and that is i think what the what the system is counting on that uh, if there is a healthcare strike, that it will be squashed relatively quickly uh, over the um, over the need for them to take care of people, and that's kind of what happened when when the numbers reach that high, it becomes very difficult for for you know anybody to say, well, yes, these nurses should be. Uh, continuing to strike uh, to to achieve collective bargaining to to get to get the basic rights that they are um, that they're asking for. But we should also be giving them the basic fucking rights and basic fucking needs that they're asking for, right? Like that is a no brainer in my book. Why would you not give these nurses what they're asking for? And what they're asking for isn't unreasonable. It's not like they're like, we want more latte machines. We can't do the job without latte. There's We need whipped cream and chocolate drizzle. This is bullshit. I'm drinking fucking uh, coffee that's like w the consistency of water. I am I am a frontline worker. And and we will not return back to the beds until we get those frothy, delicious whipped cream and chocolate covered lattes. Like that's they're not being crazy and unreasonable. Here's some of the stuff that they are asking for. Uh, they're asking for increased staffing because nurses were being let go, um, and uh, hospital administration was being let go as well. Like I, you know, some of the stuff might be repeated from the other video, but it but it bears repeating. Uh, so now the nurses have to do administrative work. They, some of the janitorial staffs were, were also fired in, in some hospitals. So then the nurses have to do janitorial work in terms of sanitizing, uh, during a fucking pandemic, which, how is that not a priority for some of these larger hospital systems? Right. But they're under the capitalist regime. So if it doesn't seem like it's going to benefit the bottom line, who gives a shit? Um, even though you should give a shit because, if there's if there's a surge in more cases, people aren't going to go outside and shop and participate in consumerism. So it doesn't benefit capitalism anyway. Uh, they're asking for better pay, which goes to sh I mean, they should be getting hazard pay regardless because they are putting themselves in a hazardous situation. Reliable PPEs. That's another fucking no brainer. <laughs> uh, better pay, better hours, uh, better work conditions. All of this stuff is is like basic and simple stuff. This shouldn't be. Well, wh why is this an argument? 
right? And why hasn't Congress done something about it? Why hasn't the the people that continue to sit there and fucking say that they're going to actually do something, they're, that they're on the side of the worker, oh, we're on the side of the working class, right? Nancy Pelosi will sit there and fucking scream that she's been elected by the people to represent them. It's like, yeah, fucking go represent them then. Why are you not approving things to help workers? Why are you not putting uh, product, PPE production in place? Why are you not getting the healthcare workers the things that they need? Some of these strikes only lasted about two days. That was the maximum that they went to in upstate New York. Um, and part and that and the reason being the number spiked so high, right? And there might be some spin, by the way, if this ever gets covered by uh, corporate mainstream media, which I doubt that it will. Um, just like yesterday, I talked about the largest strike in human history in India, 250 million people. Um, CNN hasn't talked about it. MSNBC... NPR, fucking BBC, none of it, right? Uh, same thing with this. Why would they cover the healthcare strike? Uh, Chile just had one too. Chile just had some health healthcare strikes as well. Uh, healthcare worker strikes. And the spin that they might put on it is, look, it failed. The strike failed. Uh, they weren't able to keep up. The strike failed, which um, it didn't. They literally went back to help people that need to be helped in this situation they went to do something that the government has not been doing they went to do something that capitalism is incapable of doing which is to put profits aside and to actually go in and help better people's lives that's something capitalism and, and any government run by capitalism is incapable of doing in india uh i i talked about this yesterday they the, there was a rally around the farmers because the farmers weren't being treated properly and you know uh their livelihoods were being taken away there's farmer suicides so a bunch of other industries rallied around the farmers which is awesome right and that's how you end up getting a, a general strike that large i think in the United States and any other country that um, is looking to have a general strike, this is the rallying point, in my opinion. I think healthcare workers are the rallying point for for a general strike. If nurses and doctors are saying that they're not being taken care of and they're the front line uh, in fr frontline essential workers, and they keep using this term hero and hero and hero for all of these people. Uh, what is it going to, when, when, are, when are we all going to start being like, you know what, if the nurses aren't being taken care of, when I'm, I'm next and other Industries are not being taken care of, right? Uh, the the meatpacking industry, the factories, anybody working for fucking Amazon, um, anybody working for Elon Musk, all these industries don't get taken care of. That's where there's a spread of the virus. Farmers aren't being taken care of. They're being they're being told to dump their agriculture. They're being told to dump dump their dairy. Because it's better for capitalism that way. What do you mean? Why can't the government come in and, and buy all that out and send that out to uh, families that need it? Because capitalism doesn't work that way. And again, if there's solidarity and people see nurses striking and they go, yeah, you know what? I think we should we we all deserve to be treated better. We're going to do a sympathy strike. We're going to be uh, we're going to do a solidarity strike here until the nurses get what they want. Guess what? Bakers are not doing shit. Guess what? The uh, factory workers aren't doing shit. Guess what? Amazon stops working. You guys want your packages for Christmas? Well, I guess it's time to tra start treating the working class a little bit better. Now, the way that'll have to work is it'll have to go on for multiple days, which means that the rest of us that are not in the strike, that are not out and marching, have to do our part in amplification, education, and getting those people what they need. Um, it might be funding a, a mutual aid that might be able to get food to 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 these people striking. It might be uh, getting the medical supplies or or drinks or anything like that, right? Water, what what's what have you? 
So it can be a coordinated effort that surrounds the the nurses strike. And it can ooh, sorry if I if that became a loud bump, I talk with my hands. And there is a possibility for this to succeed. There really is. But we can't stop talking about this. We can't stop talking about the need for for a general strike. We can't. I know people like Ron Placone, Graham Elwood, uh, Lee Camp have all talked about this sort of stuff. Eleanor Goldfield, Mint President, all, all these people that uh, they've all talked about it. But corporate media is not going to do it. And I don't think we should expect corporate media to ever talk about it unless it gets that big. And by the time it gets that big, we should be prepared for. Um, the same response that the protesters earlier this year got in the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, which is oppression from the police. And that is also historically what's happened with that sort of stuff. So, again, that's why that's why it really needs the help of of everybody. And, and we need to do our uh, do our parts to be dissuaded by propaganda. All right. Uh, oh, let's Dolores. Uh, the number is up because a vaccine is coming out. Hysteria needs to be created for increased vaccine vaccine sales profits. Yeah, you know, I, that's a good point. I, that's that's a point that I don't think I actually even thought about, which is that now that now that we're talking about a vaccine and it's coming out right around Christmas, how many people are letting their guard down to be like, oh, well, I'll get the vaccine and everything will be fine. Um, I do have to wonder how many people are uh, have that mindset behind what they're doing. Uh, Pelosi lives in a uh, dilution bubble. <laughs> she sure does. Uh, I one hundred percent agree with you there. Uh, she is she is a monstrously out of touch individual, um, and just I I really believe that she is not a good person. Um, Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to 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 address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.